Hi guys, just revisiting one of my old projects where I'm trying to demonstrate whether these cheap electric motors I get hold of have got enough power to lift a helicopter because that's one of the questions I had and I'm demonstrating it, or I was demonstrating it by sitting the motor on top of my kitchen scales and seeing if I could lift the motor off now a lot of people are getting focused on the reading down here and I think they're missing the elephant in the room the elephant in the room is does the motor lift off the ground or off the top of the scales this reading is not really that relevant but we will actually cover the points that people are making people are saying the downwash from the propeller is pushing down on the scales which it is but what we want to see is does the propeller or does the motor lift off the scales and if it doesn't lift off the scales then it hasn't got enough power to power a helicopter because it's got to lift the weight of the motor plus the batteries plus a helicopter now we'll just check this is zeroed okay we're zeroed I'll give it 12 volts of power which is way more than it should have it's a one and a half volt motor Right, we're pushing down on the scales with 8 grams of air pressure. Now we'll try it just sitting on there. Although we've already covered the point, it didn't lift off there, did it? So... We're now registering 19 grams. Time for a summary. What was the purpose of the original project? The purpose of the original project was to answer the question, do those cheap electric motors have enough power to power a helicopter? And the answer is no. They don't even have enough power to lift their own weight, let alone the weight of the motor, the propeller, the battery and the helicopter, so it's not going to happen. I even tried overpowering this motor, which is 1.5 volts or maybe 3 volts, by putting 12 volts through it, and it didn't lift off the surface of the scales. Now, the next point was people have commented on that original video that the way I'm measuring the thrust is wrong. And they're right. It is wrong. They're saying that the down wash, down thrust from the propeller is pushing against the surface of the scales and that's affecting the reading. And yes it is. In fact in this video I've demonstrated that if I lift the motor off the scales and just measure the downward thrust I'm getting 9 grams of thrust from this propeller blade on this motor pushing against the surface of these scales. So clearly that is affecting the reading. So if you want to measure the thrust from your propeller don't have it pointing straight at the scales. Get the scales out of the way. Have some sort of connection under here so that it's pushing against the scales but make sure that the prop wash is clear of the scales so it doesn't affect the reading. So, yes gents, you're 100% right. Doing it like this is affecting the reading. Elephant in the room, is that affecting the result of the project? No, the result of the project was to see if it would lift off the ground, and it doesn't. But yes, you're quite right, that's not a good way of measuring thrust. So don't do it that way. Keep your propeller clear of the scales and you should be okay. If you think about it, it'd be better to turn the propeller over and run the motor in reverse so it's actually pushing into the scales anyway. Then you get a better result. 